Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News, and we've got a new promo for Zach's season of The Bachelor premieres January 23rd, 2023. That's one, two, three, two, three. Uh, fans are loving this promo. Most of them, you know, fans will never grant anything. But surprisingly, I mean, most promos are like cringeworthy. It's like overly blown out exposure of Michelle Young shooting basketballs with, you know, although hers was better than Katie, they just put on a sex swing. They're like, hey, swing around a little bit, you know. So uh, they're, they're not really, the, the batting average is not that high for these promos. So we're going to get into it right now. Follow me on Instagram at dneals, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for private behind the scenes bonus content. You want to give me a Christmas gift? Everyone's like, what can we get? The guy who's got it all. Just join the Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. It's a little less $5 a month. All right, we're going to get into this promo of Zach's new season. And then I'm going to share with you guys the Bachelors. There's three of them in Australia and what their new promo is. It's a James Bond theme. It's pretty good. Uh, a lot of good uh, promos coming out. So stick around for that. Um, I'm going to play this. Uh, there's some licensed content attached to it, so I'm going to have to talk my way through it, guys. This season on The Bachelor. There he is, shirtless and hairy, lifting weights. He's got biceps, folks. Ooh, he exfoliates. That's good. Ooh, got some friction with the stubble there. Yeah, wow. All right. Ah! Ladies on a porch. Bring on the women! Zach is the most genuine, emotionally intelligent, sweet soul. All of us want a guy like that. I just realized this is from three weeks ago. So I'll play the new trailer in a second. Finish watching this. There's a new one. Zach is so serious about being a husband and a father. He what knows he what he wants. Zach. That sets apart a man from a boy. Being beside you, True. I honestly feel like the luckiest girl in the world. These women are amazing. Woo! Ariel has me feeling a certain type of way. Ariel, what Whoa. I'm looking for is my best friend, that person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Woo! I want my forever person. I want my partner. That's why I'm here. <gasps> Wild. Whoa. This season. Okay, so that's this coming season of The Bachelor. And of course, that wasn't what I was going to share for you. This is the promo trailer right here. And of course, it's a song. So I got to talk over the song. But here's Zach doing his thing, laughing, putting on sweaters, smelling a rose. You know, the typical things he's doing there. A nice little uh, brow furrow. January 23rd. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Winking. A lot of winks. I mean, he's got the ladies feeling a certain way for Mr. Right Reasons. I'm ready. Are you? <laughs> I don't know, Zach. I don't know. All right. So then one of the producers says, yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Or maybe it's one of his ladies. Who knows? Either way, Demi knows. She says he's kind of fine. Fire. Bachelor says, let's get this love story started. A new season of The Bachelor premieres January 23rd. And just when you think the barrel couldn't be scraped any further, I mean, it's several weeks after the reunion episode of Bachelor in Paradise, which was already pushed back. It was such a late season. We went from paradise to, uh, you know, snow season here. And just when you think we couldn't have our itch scratched uh, sooner, the painful itch that it is, we get this nice little piece of bread come a morsel of scrap thrown our way to the addicts known as uh, bachelor nation which we are we are we're addicted to finding love and the fire that can be uh, sort of uh, started in the process both a good fire a a heartwarming fire and then also the destruction uh, looking at you uh johnny and victoria okay so we'll have to see how it goes down or who goes down or goes up we'll have to see i don't know how they're going to do it but um game of roses posted the same trailer and we wanted to show some other audience members some people said so boring but actually others said i actually really enjoyed it wait i'm actually kind of excited right now it's the same story every year why did they cast clayton oh you know what it actually looks like it's gonna be kind of good why did they cast katie well you know i feel like it'll be okay but you know it's always just that my thought is, I'm going to share with you why I think they cast one person versus another. It's not always a popularity contest. We have to remember that. It's not just who's the most popular. It's who's going to make the best Bachelor. And some people just didn't like it. Juju B said, feels weird and appropriative that the straightest show in America... You, is this the straightest show in America? I guess it is. Yeah, this is probably... It's definitely no Dancing with the Stars. That show, you know, we can move our hips. We can be ourselves. But yeah, it's a pretty straight show. Uh, show in America used a song about queer love and its promo. Also, it's a song about black love. And there were numerous 
amazing BIPOC options for the lead, but they cast another boring white dude instead. Do better, Bachelor. And again, I don't know. I don't know if he's a boring white guy. I don't know a thing or two about him. Whenever you're the contestant on the show, we don't get to see their true personality. Um, if a queer person writes a song... Does it make that song about queer love? I don't know. I don't have answers to all these questions, folks, but people are asking them. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, can, can, uh, does a, do, because, you know, do, do you have to be a straight artist? Like, if I if I want a song about, El, if I want Elton John to sing the song of my trailer, is that appropriate because I'm not British or gay or don't have his haircut? I don't know. I don't, and I don't say that out of jest. I'm actually curious. No idea. Don't understand. Okay, so anyway, people have wondered why they cast one lead versus another. And I always think of this uh, show, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, by Darren Brown. Darren Brown is um, is like a mentalist. He's a magician. I believe he's from the UK, uh, right? A British. And, he, uh, and he's got different shows on Netflix. Um, I'm sure he's very famous in the UK and people don't really know him much over here, but he's got several specials. This one's called The Push. And the idea behind this special is can he convince somebody to push a stranger off of a roof, essentially killing someone? Can he convince someone to kill someone else? And I'm not going to give anything away, but what he does is he runs different people through a simulation where everyone else is kind of in on it. It's almost like a Truman show. Uh, so there's a scene early on, not giving anything away, where they've got their star who doesn't know he's being filmed and they have him uh, replace a vegan appetizer with a non-vegan appetizer and they say oh no one will notice they they put him in a scenario to see whether or not he will be okay being manipulated by this other person so we start to think about how this would apply in bachelor does that mean the leads are very suggestible kind of no it doesn't mean they're going to push someone off the thing so anyway i suggest watching this doc well, not, it's not a documentary I, I, I suggest watching this special because it's very fascinating they run the simulation by multiple people and they see whether or not you could convince someone to do something like like a, a, atrocious really which is also of course um has uh, you know we look at current wars going on and wars from the past and understanding why did people do something that was so heinous and you know and it and it, it really comes down to the desire to be in the group, the desire to do what your bosses say. And it's one of the reasons why they cast a lot of former athletes, because athletes build the uh, listen to the coach mentality. They build the do what the coach says. The coach is always right. They have that ingrained in them. And sometimes that's a good thing. And sometimes it's a bad thing. You know, we like free, you know, free thinkers. And it's another reason why I believe the show casts a lot of beauty pageant contestants because they're taught to walk on the line, do as they're told and enact a certain way. And I don't know about Zach's story, but I do know that the show didn't get what they wanted out of Katie Thurston. She probably didn't march completely to the beat of the drum. She had moments where she wanted to quit, moments where she... But she did give the show a lot of drama, right? She did give the show a lot of sound bites and things like that. But we look at people like everyone says, why wouldn't Rodney... He would be great on it. Well, it's good to see someone like Brandon and Serene find love. But it was so unproblematic. It was so pure and good and healthy. Is the show prepared for a truly healthy lead where there's no controversy whatsoever? Now, the show can have a healthy lead and then have cast members, the contestants that are kind of um, all over the place. And of course, they put them in positions where even the healthiest person is going to be sleep deprived. Uh, they're going to be hungry. They're not going to have their cell phones, their jobs, their working out regimens, like all these things that can kind of spiral us out of control. But I think back to the idea of how easy it actually can be to manipulate others to act a certain way. And we need to remember that. And I'm not, and again, I'm not saying that's a character flaw of Zach. I'm just saying with Clayton, they were able to find a guy that was just fortunate and happy to be there, do as he was told, pursue love. And then we kind of saw that blind path he went down and he's one of the nicest guys out there. He's so solid. Again, we'll have to see how Zach does. Um, there's one more trailer I wanted to show you guys uh, right here. And it is the Australian version of The Bachelor. Let's have a watch. It's a bond. So we have the guy on the speedboat. Look at that. They got the flowers coming out. And then we have the sports car guy. How badass is this? And then we have the helicopter emo kind of guy. Although it would have been cooler if they had the emo guy flying the helicopter. It was the summer of love. The summer of love. How cool is that? 
no offense to Australia, why can't we have trailers like this? Blow the whole, literally, do the whole season in a Ramada conference in, uh, but make the trailer, like blow all the money on the trailer is my point. I'm here. I'm so ready to find love. I'm so ready. I don't want to be single anymore. No, no, I don't want to be. Okay. Not good with impressions. I just want someone I can spend the rest of my life with. Boy, could we handle three bachelors? I don't know. I feel like that would give the ladies a lot, a lot of the power, which is probably good for TV because if like one guy's like treating her a certain way, she's like, oh yeah, I don't need you boat boy. I'm going to helicopter guy. Um, so anyway, speaking of well edited trailers, I also wanted to show this for you guys. This is Stephen, Lo St uh, Steve, Stephen, Stephen, <laughs> geez, some Stevie, Stevie Love grows first Noel ball. So this is the event we went to uh, last week, but. I, um, again, another another thing I got to talk through because of the um, sort of um, licensed music. But look at the slow mo shots. They shot this at a you know high you know price sixty frames per second. Nice slow mo, free flowing drinks and pizza. Great. I mean, isn't this great? They had a bunch of Love Is Blind contestants. Obviously, you'll recognize a ton of Bachelor. So they do the slow dance. They've got uh, some. So this was uh, that was a hard. Oh, there, oh, so many people. Cassie. Oh my gosh, we had Cassie and Bright in there. We had. Oh, we have um, a pace case there. Romeo. He's going to make an appearance in my vlog. So much going on there. Let's see. Susie, I saw in the background. Uh, not sure who that is, but uh, they look popular. Katie with potentially her new guy from the circle, right? Is that the guy? And then we've got the dude from what Big Brother? I don't know. Uh, John Hersey. John Hersey. Um, did I see? So we got the DJ doing his thing. Here it is. Great editing. Look at this editing. Wow. Amazing, folks. Again, apologies for talking through this. But um, we had Game of Roses there in the audience. We had Jess from Chatty Broads. Sam Jeffries and her new launch with boyfriend um, uh, Spencer. Uh, that we just saw Justin and there's Brandon and Serene uh, doing their dang thing. Who else can we recognize here? Was that Aaron? Marlena on the ground? Susie? Oh yeah, they're just crushing it. There it is, uh, Garen Flower. Oh, Garen's so good. Remember Garen from Tasha Season? He's a great guy. Garen Flowers was there starting it up. Actually, they can. Uh, we had Annalise there. Remember her? Am I missing anyone? Justin, Susie, Katie. All right. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Um, Susie got. Susie had it going on there. Um, okay, more people. This is really hard to. All right, doing their thing. Bros lifting up bros. Got to respect that. If you want to see my vlog from it, actually, I haven't. Um, I didn't put it up here, but you. Know, if you see my vlog, you just search Tasha Courtney. And you can actually see our point of view. Uh, I titled it Revolves Big Winter Event. But again, link in the comment section to watch this. Multiple events tonight. So we went to both Gosh, events. This event here. We did, um, hold on, where's the other one? Here's us going to, hey, tell us what we're doing now. Here's us going to the next event. Hey, you know, <laughs> take your time. I just want to make sure it's us. All of this on the vlog channel just search tasha courtney on youtube i can't believe how many people are like how do i find it just search my name and search vlogs i swear it'll pop up um so anyway there we are doing the dance uh get it on oh what a camera angle dave you just really crush it all right of course i didn't have high high you know i didn't have my high quality camera i just had my insta 360. all right folks so that's oh geez what a long video so those are all your trailers we had zach's promo australia's uh, three bachelor bond promo and of course all the bachelor contestants is that enough Bachelor content for you? Well, we got one more video coming your way. We'll see you on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. And don't forget Bachelor Rush Hour, where we tie it all together with a unique intro. Every single afternoon, you can get my Bachelor thoughts of the day. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye.